Oh yeah, let's make this scarf. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my very own business scarf. The scarf is fantastic because it looks great on both men and women. So if you are looking to make a gift or just something to keep somebody warm, this is going to be perfect. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects. And you're not going to want to miss out, especially when I release a video in the middle of the week. And if you're not subscribed, you're not going to see it. So subscribe. That way you don't miss any of my videos. This pattern is on my Etsy shop. I will include the website here on the bottom of the screen. I will also include the link directly to this pattern in the note section below and the comment section. So all you have to do is click on the link, purchase the pattern, print it off and be ready to crochet with me. Once you have the pattern, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make this beautiful business scarf. With the size of four weighted yarn, you're going to need approximately 363 yards or 332 meters of yarn. With the size two weighted yarn, you're going to need approximately 273 yards or 250 meters of yarn. I was able to make this scarf with just one skein of this yarn. I made this scarf over here with about one and a half skeins of this. I love this wool yarn, but depending on what material you use, you might be able to get away with just using one skein, or you might need to use two, roughly two skeins of yarn to complete the scarf. I fell in love with the wool. I think the wool in the alpaca feel the best on my skin, but really honestly use whatever you have access to, to make this scarf. If you're using the size four weighted yarn, I recommend you using the crochet hook size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. If you are using the thinner size two weight yarn, I used the size G6 or 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. You will need a pair of scissors. You will need a yarn needle, tapestry needle to weave in your ends. And you will need a measuring tape for the fringe at the end of the scarf. You're going to need to measure out how long to cut each fringe piece. So once you have gathered all of your materials, let's go ahead and dive right into actually making this business scarf. When it comes to the business scarf, I'm actually just going to make a small swatch so that way I can get through each instruction quickly for you. When it comes to this particular pattern, I am not going to share with you how many chains are in my foundation row or how many rows of a particular pattern that I made. If you want that information, you will need the pattern. But what I will do for you is I will tell you this pattern is made with a multiple of two. And I will share with you, okay, at this point, you're going to repeat this pattern for however many rows you want before we reach the next pattern, okay? So I will set you up with cues. That way you can successfully make this scarf however long you want or however wide you want. This is a perfect opportunity for you to make this scarf your own. If you do want to know my exact foundation row chain count or my exact number of rows that I made, you got to get the pattern. But I will also include for you a chart, a scarf chart that I refer to often. It will be in both the note section and the comment section below. Just click on it, print it, and I'll tell you if you're making a scarf for somebody that is this age, you'll want to make it this long and this wide. <clears throat> I refer to this chart often. It really helps me. So because I'm making a small, a small swatch of this pattern, I will just be making a foundation row of 20 chains. Again, multiple of two. Your foundation row chain needs to be in a multiple of two. I begin with a small tail that's about three inches long so I can weave in my end at the end of the project. Insert my crochet hook and I am ready to begin. So like I said, my swatch example that I'm gonna show you is only going to be 20 chains long. Go ahead and make your foundation row chain however long you want your scarf to be, but make sure that that number of chains is a multiple of two, okay? One, two, three, 18, 19, 20, perfect. Okay, for row one, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from our crochet hook. 
And then for row one, you're just making one single crochet in each chain all the way across. So go ahead and accomplish this and I will meet you at the end of row one to show you what to do next. And last chain, perfect. Okay, at the end of each row, we're going to chain one. Then we will turn our work. Okay, so for row two through, this is going to be your repeat pattern. We are doing the single crochet cross stitch pattern. If you need a little more attention, a little slower instruction on how to do the single crochet cross stitch pattern. I do have a tutorial for it right here. You can click on that tutorial and it'll take you straight to how I slowly show you how to do the single crochet cross stitch pattern. Basically what you do is you single crochet in the first stitch, skip the next stitch in the third stitch. So one, two, three, single crochet, and then you will go back to that skipped stitch, insert your crochet hook into that skipped stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both, making a single crochet in that skipped stitch, and then repeat. Skip a stitch, next stitch, single crochet, and then go back to that skip stitch, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. I will tend to pull my yarn a little bit further out and then yarn over, pull through to keep it loose and not super tight. You wanna make sure that your tension with the scarf is on the looser end. You don't want your scarf to be too tight because it'll cause the scarf to be really tight and rigid. And people tend to like a much looser, more comfortable, squishy scarf than they do a really tight, rigid scarf. Okay, so try to keep your stitches on the looser end. So skip a stitch, next stitch, single crochet, and then single crochet in that skipped stitch. Perfect. Repeat this process all the way to the end of round two. Great, I've reached the end of row two. So you should see two stitches remaining. One, two. All right, so we're going to skip the first one, single crochet in the very last stitch and then single crochet in that skipped stitch. And you've just finished row two. So if you look at the end here, it will look kind of jagged and that is okay. We're okay with that. You're just going to continue the pattern and it will stay straight. It will. All right, so for row three through, however many rows you wanna repeat the single crochet cross stitch pattern, you're just going to end the row chain one, turn your work. You will always single crochet in the very first stitch and then begin your single crochet cross stitch pattern where you're, you skip the first stitch, single crochet in the second stitch, and then go back and single crochet in that skipped stitch, okay? So take a second, make however many rows that you would like to make with this single crochet cross stitch pattern. And then I will meet you at the end of that last row to show you how to do the second part of this business scarf. Okay, great. So we are just anticipating that you have finished every row that you want to make with the single crochet cross stitch pattern, whether that be through the end of row four or that be through the end of row 20, however thick you want this scarf to be. Just know that half of it, roughly, in my opinion, should be this pattern before you switch to the second pattern but you can make it your own. You can make this part just be a third and then the second pattern be 
two thirds of the scarf. So that's what's great is you can really make this your own. I'm about to show you how we switch to the second pattern. So you have just made however many rows that you wanna make with the single crochet cross stitch. At the end of that row, you're going to chain one, turn your work. For your next row, the first row of pattern number two, you're going to single crochet in the back loops only of each stitch all the way across this row. That's all we are doing. Look at the top of your stitches so you can see your V's. See your V, 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 V. You're gonna insert your crochet hook in the middle of that V, go through the back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and repeat that all the way across this row. And last stitch here, there we go. Okay, once you've reached the very end of this row, chain one, turn your work. I want to fold this row that I just made, fold it forward. So that way I can see all of these stitches from the row I just made that were skipped. So these would have been the front loops only of that previous row, okay? So I'm really trying to show you what I do on camera. So this row I just made, fold it forward, revealing these front loop stitches right here, looking at the back. So here's the back. I'm going to be working in these stitches right here, the skipped stitches of the row I just completed. Okay, here I am. Take this row, fold it forward. Remember your stitch count. So for me, I only have 19 stitches in each row. So that should help guide you. By the end of this row, you should stick with your same number of stitches you had in row one. Okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, single crochet. Next stitch here, single crochet. Next stitch here, single crochet. Again, you're only picking up the front loop that was left behind from the previous row. and repeat this all the way across this row. 18 and 19, perfect. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. And you should see that that row we made is now sticking straight up. <laughs> it's really cool. See how it's doing that? There we go. Okay, so we just finished this row. When you have finished the row, you just chain one, turn your work. See how this side is completely flat, whereas this side has a piece sticking straight up. That's what we want. That's the pattern that I want you to see. Like all these little Vs that are sticking straight up. Okay, next row, single crochet, back loop only, all the way across this row. So again, looking at the top of our stitches, finding that V shape, insert in the middle of that V shape, back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Single crochet, back loop only, every stitch, all the way across. There we go. Oh, that looks familiar. This row of front loops that was left behind. Okay, once we get to the end, chain one, turn your work. And for this next row, we're going to push this row from that we just finished forward. 
revealing to us that whole row of front loops that we left behind, just like we did before. Single crochet, a regular single crochet in each loop all the way across. It is very important when you get to this step of the pattern that you count your stitches because this is where your work is going to start to either cave in or flare out because here is where you're either going to add a single crochet or miss a sing single crochet and you will definitely see it in your pattern. So this step in each row till you finish the width of your scarf you want to make sure you count these stitches so you don't miss or add a stitch. Okay, super important. And this is the last pattern, guys. You're just making a regular single crochet in that skipped front loop from the previous row all the way across. Let me get you there. All right, and there's 19 and then here you will see that every time we do that we make a row that sticks out see there's our second row that's sticking straight up and they create this really cool pattern it's really pretty and then this side is completely flat All right, so repeat these two rows over and over and over until you have reached your desired width of your scarf. This is the last pattern. So we start with the single crochet cross stitch and we end with the single crochet back loop only and then single crochet in the skipped front loop all the way across pattern. And that is the two patterns for your scarf to finish off. Once you have reached the end of your scarf, you will grab your scissors, cut your yarn, you will yarn over, pull the yarn through your loop and tighten to close off your project. And now we're ready for the fringe part of our project. So this part, you're going to want your tape measure. Grab your tape measure. You're going to cut yarn strips that are three inches long. Cut. Okay, so cut as many of these as you want to put at each end of your scarf. What I do is I will, let me cut a couple here so I can show you. Here we go. Okay, four. So I will actually keep two together. I will wrap them around my finger and put the ends together so I know that it's roughly the same length on both sides. I'll take my crochet hook and I will come in from the back of the scarf forward. The front of the scarf is the side that has these 3D looking rows coming out the front. So forward, insert underneath the yarn, grab it with the hook, pull into or through the project, the the stitch, yarn over the ends and pull the ends through that loop and pull and that creates my little fringe. Now for this particular scarf I wanted really short fringe because really short fringe offers a great look to the scarf without being too much and when you wash this scarf it doesn't affect the scarf ends as much as if you had like really long fringe and what it does to fringe when you wash it. Okay. So that's what I really like. I really like the short fringe, but again, this is your scarf. You make it however you want to make it. If you want to make your fringe strips longer, just make sure that each strip that you cut is the same length. It will help you so much. So you definitely want to have your tape measure on hand. All right, that is it. That is how you make this business scarf. And it is so pretty. I really hope that you had fun learning these stitches and that you really like the combination together and that you like to wear it as well.
really hope you enjoyed making your business scarf. If you did, you might also really enjoy these other videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today, spending time with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.